Lizzie. Today is Good Friday. I'm so excited. I've already done all my Good Friday holiday things for hours. So I know I might get some hate on this video that this is like a hyped up, excited video and like baking. Is there something on my... Oh no, there's some nail polish on my screen. So I was like, is there something on my face? But there's really not. Anyway, so if I, I'm unaware if you're not supposed to have like chocolate on Good Friday, because that's something that I'm baking, but it is vegan, which, yeah, it's vegan, which is actually probably within all the dieting guidelines, like especially in the Eastern Church and the Orthodox Church and like Byzantine and Melkite rites. I don't know if it's all the Eastern Catholic churches, but in the Orthodox Church, you have to be vegan on Good Friday besides fish. So anyways, I'm making cookies too, but peanut butter. Yeah, so there's no like sugar, there's no butter. I think they're Good Friday appropriate. You can as long as it's part of your meal. Okay guys, well, that's the thing. And I actually should make a whole video talking about this, but I actually don't fast. And it's because I have a history of, um, actually, no, I can't talk about this because it'll get demonetized. My last live stream got demonetized. And I mean, it's not surprising because I said a lot of words in it that get things demonetized. I just put Mary in the video. And then this says koinonia, which is a Greek word that's like pretty cliche to like the word, but it means like family, like community love. So I really like the word a lot. So one of my subscribers like painted that for me and then wrote Koinonia in red. And then like, I used to be obsessed with zebra print. I mean, I still am obsessed with zebras, of course. But um, my best friend's mom got this for me for um, one of my college friends for her wedding. It was like a gift. So I'm like obsessed with it. Nice pajamas, thank you. Yeah, aren't they so cute? She got for the bridesmaids and zebras are like my favorite thing ever. So it was so exciting. Anyway, so the reason I don't fast is because I have, well, first of all, I'm vegan. So all the like don't eat fish, I mean, don't eat meat on certain days. Like I'm abiding by that 100%. But, hi Lizzie, hi Alexa, but, I have had in the past, and I've made videos talking about this, de disordered eating a little bit. So sometimes I like crave the feeling of hunger, but that's like sort of way in my past, like a couple of years in my past, it hasn't happened in a while, but I don't want it to happen. And then the other thing is that because of my bipolar, I have to be eating throughout the day. So if I ever, yeah, I just have to be eating throughout the day. So if I limit the amount of food that I eat, then it makes my bipolar really bad. So, and I used to have a medicine where like you had to eat with the medicine or it doesn't work. So I'm not on that medicine anymore. So now I fast before mass. I didn't for like a year. I didn't fast before the Eucharist because I was on a medicine called Trileptal, but I changed that. And now I'm on Seroquel and Vraylar, which are more chill. So I can fast before the Eucharist for an hour, but fasting for like hours or all day, I don't do that, so. Yeah, if you have medical issues or you're pregnant, you don't have to do the fasting either. There's always exceptions. Y'all, not all has to fast. Don't feel bad. It's just was saying that because it's what I am used to. I'm a cradle Catholic with old timer parents. My mom still fasts. I'm pretty sure everyone's supposed to attempt to though. Your pajamas remind me of ones I had when I was eight, except it was sheep. I know, isn't it so funny? Yeah, they're like totally like a little kids. Um, let me read your guys' comments. Victoria, are you going to play guitar? Um, oh my gosh, I played guitar for like two and a half hours today. I'm not kidding. And I was playing right before this. I almost missed my live premiere as well because I was playing guitar. So I relearned so many songs. So my whole like guitar journey, I learned to play guitar. I taught myself in Thailand the first summer I went to Thailand when I was 18 and I turned 19 there so that's when I first learned I watched a YouTube channel called guitar goddess so if you want to learn to play guitar just YouTube search guitar goddess and there's so many tutorials on the different chords it's honestly so easy to learn guitar Alexa stop we're gonna go check the cookies oh my gosh guys I'm so excited so basically these cookies are just um 
Oh, I have my hand on the thing. These cookies just have bananas, chocolate chip, and oats. And I just mixed it together on a plate, not even in like a bowl, just because it's easier to clean. And you just mix them together. And then I baked it in 350. And I didn't Google how long that they're supposed to be baked for. But let me see. I have an oven baking with Lizzie. This wasn't a clickbait title. And then I'll talk about everything I did on Good Friday. So let's see if these are done yet. My guess is going to be no. Do you guys see them? Aren't they so cute? Look, they have banana and oats and chocolate chips. They're so yummy. Such a good snack. So I, hmm. Oh, you know what, you guys? I have to look at the bottom. And then I'll know whether or not mine look really good. <laughs> um, where is a spatula? Oh, here's one. Da, da, da. Ooh, it's kind of stuck in there. Oh, they're totally not done. They're gonna go in for another like maybe four minutes. We'll see. It'll be an adventure that we'll go through together. So I'll show you guys the oven. They're back in the oven. I'm gonna set Alexa for maybe like four minutes. We'll see. Okay, let's read the comments. Alexa, set timer for four minutes. Tomorrow I try- Starting now. Tomorrow, I sorry if you guys have Alexa and I just like set it off. Um, is it weird that I felt like Judas when kissing the crucifix tonight? I felt like I was betraying Jesus since my sins put him there. I mean, that's exactly how you're supposed to feel. So your like Good Friday service was extremely successful at like getting you in the vibe of Good Friday. So what I did today, I um, had Bible study. So I'm a part-time campus minister for 10 hours. So it's like actually part-time. <laughs> So I just do Bible studies with college students. So I had a Bible study for an hour and then we did Stations of the Cross for like an hour. And then I watched Bishop Barron Mass and then I'm gonna watch another Mass, I think tonight before I go to sleep. So yeah, that's my Good Friday experience. And honestly, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying this, but I despise the spiritual communion thing at the end of Mass. I just feel like it's very Protestant-like where they don't believe in a physical Eucharist and it doesn't replace it. I mean, it doesn't make me feel better. It makes me feel worse because it reminds me that we can't have, we can't receive the Eucharist. So I hate the spiritual communion thing. Like, I just feel like, no, it's not, it, it's not spiritual. The Eucharist is physical. Obviously it's spiritual too, but yeah. So I don't know if anyone agrees with me that you don't like the spiritual communion, but it just makes me really, really, really sad. So I'm not a fan of that. Hi, Solis Griffiths. Amy says, haven't been feeling well. Um, the other day got a bug and not Corona. I hope it's not coronavirus. It could be. I was told the kiss was supposed to be loving and passionate. <laughs> um, It's supposed to be, the kiss is supposed to be as if like, you were Mary or you were John and you were there and you're like venerating Jesus after it happens. That's, I'm pretty sure what the kiss is supposed to be. So yeah, it is supposed to be reverent. Um, but obviously like during the reading, there were like the three people reading. There's the narrator who was the deacon in the Bishop Barron mass. And then there's Bishop Barron. And then there was a woman who's just like a parishioner and she like part of her reading was crucify him and so the whole idea is that our sins did put him there and i prayed just prayed the stations of the cross and that's like a huge part of the stations of the cross that i did which i actually like made a stations of the cross i like compiled two into one and like edited it together and a lot of it is about how our sins put jesus on the cross and we should feel awful we actually should feel awful and it should motivate us to not put Jesus on the cross like more through our, you know what I mean? Like obviously not physically, but yeah, our sins had to be forgiven and are the reason that, yeah. 
So I think it's fine to feel awful and it's fine to feel guilty because it's like we contributed to this with our sins. You put him on the cross every mass. Um, not really the same though. It really doesn't feel the same. I miss the time when Good Friday was very solemn. No work, just staying in church or home. You mean like, are you older and like back in the day, it was like a national holiday or something? I'm taking a theology class because I have for my college. Can you explain the Holy Trinity? Is that God or is the Holy Trinity some Jew thing? So the Holy Trinity is a Christian thing. It's the way we conceptualize God. So there are three persons within God, but it's one God. And the reason it's like that is because God is all love and God is selfless. And so within God, Alexa, stop. And so within God, there is love literally within God because God is loving the other parts of God and selflessly like pouring into the other parts of God, all of his, her being. So, and don't come at me for using female pronouns for God because I'm reading a book right now on RCI 80 in the early church and they literally have early church poetry talking about God as having breast milk. So in the Bible as well, there's female metaphors for God. So God is not a male or a female. It's really important to remember that. Okay, we're going to go look at these cookies again and see what's going on. So I think that they should be done by now, but we shall see. Here, I'll put you guys in the... So you guys can have a good view of this experience. Ooh. I used to do cooking videos quite a bit in my other apartment. I don't know if you guys remember, but we would cook together sometimes. It was so fun. I love eating and cooking because it just feels like we're hanging out together, right? It's more intimate than just like having, just sitting down and having a memorized video. And yeah, I mean, even live streams can be like scripted and stuff. So, hmm. Let me put you guys down for a second. I want to make sure the bottom should be like crisp kind of it's kind of stuck on the bottom maybe i should just eat it should i just eat it oh they need to firm a lot more but the thing about cookies is they firm like after they come out of the oven no they should cook more hmm i think you know what i did wrong i made these like oh i almost burned myself oops um, I made these so huge because I thought it'd be easier. So they're so big that the middle part is not like cooking and everything. So if someone's like, I don't think they're done. Gosh, guys, thank you. <laughs> okay. May the bless. Don't burn yourself. I almost, did you guys see? I like touched the thing because it like wasn't my, oh my gosh, God, I broke my nail. Look at this nail. Look how long and beautiful the nail is. And then the broken nail. Isn't that like embarrassing? I was so mad. I was opening the freezer and I hit it. It's because the gels came off. So my nails are so weak, even though I painted them. And you guys know quarantine is, oh, now this is going to get demonetized. Why did I have to say that word? You know, this is going to go on for like months. We're going to be in like July and August and still staying inside our homes. So I might just like cut all my nails short and just deal with it. What do you guys think I should do? Should I have like one nail like that? Can you see when I'm like doing my videos? I don't know. Usually I fix it when that happens and I get like a fake nail glued on, you know? Happy Good Friday, Lizzie. Thank you for the donation, Phil. Thank you for all the time you put into making amazing videos. Yay, that's so sweet. I have been putting so much time into my past three videos. I kind of took a break the past two days where I just like spent time reading. I'm reading a book on RCIA in the early church. So, yes. Cut them all short. I'm a man who chews his nails. <laughs> I never understood why women complained about breaking their nails for, for like my whole life. And then when I went vegan, my nails started growing so fast and so long and so thick. 
and which is surprising because they still break really easily but like compared to my other nails they're like they actually say i'm just a very like rowdy person like when i walk around i like hit things and stuff so <laughs> that's why that happens my cookies turned out good yay i wish we could like share the stream and you could show your cookies if we were on instagram do you have instagram michelle we could do that i taught an rsia class yesterday about mary and the saints first time teaching oh congratulations that's so cool hi lizzie i hope you had a great good friday i did i did bible study stations of the cross and mass so it was really fun and i did live stream mass obviously i made an instagram post and i was like i did mass today and they're like no you didn't what are you talking about like you lied <laughs> i'm like obviously live stream mass like everyone's doing live stream mass i thought that was obvious um i just finished watching the passion of the christ and i have no words where do you guys watch passion of the christ i could never i always say i could never watch it because i would just like cry the whole time but yeah 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 i'll never watch it i was thinking about it because people were like talking about it on twitter and i was like oh that's so sweet but no i almost became a priest it's on amazon prime oh that's so cool okay don't tell me that now i have to watch it um to be a practicing catholic you need to receive holy communion once during easter i hope things are okay before it's over that's crazy that like things have changed so much that we're not even able to do that i do not like it i just saw it on amazon prime today as well that's so cool i looked at passion of christ on youtube you know what is on youtube cowspiracies on youtube you guys should all go watch cowspiracy it's like a conspiracy theory with the federal government that's real where the meat and dairy industry have like infiltrated the government and the colleges and oh my gosh like one of the people they sorry that was weird <laughs> one of the people they interviewed literally like got i don't know if it was in this one or forks over knives but in one of the vegan documentaries people literally got fired from their 10-year teaching position because they started teaching that dairy and meat protein is more likely to get cancer than plant protein through actual research and studies they found this and they got fired because the meat and dairy industry has put so much funding into institutions and into the government so go watch cowspiracy it's literally like if you like conspiracy theory stuff like if you're one of those people who like gets like addicted to reading and like plotting and thinking about it like it's a great movie to watch because it's real you were playing guitar yes i played for two hours today it was so fun i'm going to go pray god bless i don't know i might come back well go pray pray instead of being here praying is more important i'd rather you be praying i'm surprised you've not heard of um that word me too that's been known forever that cow milk causes breast cancer in women yeah but people still teach that you need milk like okay one of the proofs of conspiracy this conspiracy theory is that in school growing up was it like this in your school where they had these got milk ads everywhere the got milk ads like at the time i was just like oh it's important to drink milk but now i'm like after i watched these documentaries about the conspiracy i was like they're paying the schools to infiltrate children that they need milk for calcium. You can get calcium in vegetables, in almond milk. <laughs> I hate got milk ads. And they got so many celebrities. They paid so many celebrities to infiltrate us. It's a real thing. Lizzie, you should eat meat and dairy. The high carb and plant protein diet you eat still depends on proteins that still don't have as much protein. You should look at a website called Chronometer, C H R O N O meter, and you can put in your diet. I put in my diet and I get enough protein. You can go watch my last what I eat in a day. For my what I, what I eat in a day, I did the nutrition facts for everything and the calories and protein and it turned out that I was like at my levels, actually above my levels of protein. I have a question. I saw your depression video. What is your question? We already said the word quarantine in the video, so it's going to get demonetized. So 
Also, my Pope video got demonetized and I was like, are we serious? How is this controversial? I'm talking about the Pope, but it got monetized. They like looked at it manually and I was thinking like, what if it's someone who's anti-Catholic and they look at it? So, Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? There are no timers set. Ooh, I forgot to set the timer. What if I burn my cookies? I'm gonna be so sad. Are they burning? Do you guys smell anything? Oh, you guys can't smell anything. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I was gonna turn it around. Okay, I got my oven mitt. You can see my feet. Okay, these look done. What do you guys think? I smell it. Smells delicious. I love your mood. You are so funny. They look disgusting. What? They're like chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. You guys are so trolling me. This is like when you guys were like, there's a spider and there wasn't a spider. Oh, they're totally done. They're brown on the bottom. Yay. I'm so happy. Do you guys remember that? Was anyone there? They seem fine to me. Let them cool. Okay, but before they cool, I'm gonna, um, here, I'm gonna put this here. You know how they will get stuck if I don't do this? They will stick on even more, so I'm gonna do like this to make sure, oh, I should have put like oil on the pan or something. I was like, nah, it's not real cookie dough, so it's not gonna happen, but it did. Oh, that one's off, cool. I'm trying to get like all the way under it. Oh, that one's good. See, I didn't need oil after all. Okay, we're gonna let them cool and then we're gonna come back in like three minutes and then actually eat them. Or I might put take some on a plate. I think I'll take some on a plate. So we don't have to constantly be going like back and forth. Okay, cool. Here's a plate. So I'm gonna put two of them. Here we go. I'll take the ugly one. Mmm. So guys, these are so healthy, so easy. All you need is dark chocolate, two bananas, and a ton of oats. And you just put them all on a plate or in a bowl and use your hands and like mold them together. And I don't use any recipe, so I just like smash two bananas, put chocolate, and then I'm like, oh, more chocolate, oh, more oats, and just make it into a batter. And then, yeah, yum. It's such an easy recipe. Obviously it's vegan, you guys. Here's the thing. So I actually watch a lot of vegan YouTubers who make videos against people who are vegan and they're like, oh, you're not a real vegan. And people literally who aren't real vegans will like post on their social media them eating something that's not vegan. Why would someone be so stupid to put it online? I'm not stupid, you guys. If I was gonna cheat on veganism, I wouldn't like have it in my live stream. You know what I mean? That like, <laughs> it's almost like you don't have self-respect for me. You're making me so hungry because it's Good Friday. <laughs> make brownies, but I just made cookies. I don't wanna make something else. Oh, they really need to cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat them. Okay, so basically I'm craving food every day and I can't sleep. I always feel tired, but I don't feel sad, just numb. Lizzie is a happy celebratory cloud. Um, no, you can actually get dark chocolate that doesn't have milk in it. So you just have to check. It's pretty easy to get dark chocolate, so. What's not convincing me of a vegan lifestyle is seeing elderly people who have been eating meat and dairy it's one thing to eat something good, but another to overeat, which would apply to any food. So here's the thing. Don't rely on anecdotal evidence. It's like such a logical fallacy. It's horrible if you're trying to figure out something like nutrition, which is scientific. So certain things are genetic. So if you're gonna get diabetes or heart disease or breast cancer, all of these things are genetic. So if someone has like amazing genetics and eats like McDonald's their entire life, 
but they have zero chance of getting anything, then they're not gonna get anything and they're gonna be healthy. But if you're someone who is born with a propensity to have high cholesterol or to get type 2 diabetes or to have a heart attack or to develop colon cancer, if you're born with those predispositions, then eating meat and dairy will turn those on. Or if you ate vegan, you would not get those. So that's why you see people who eat really unhealthy who don't have any diseases but it's people with bad genetics. But you don't know you have bad genetics until you test positive for cancer or until you have a heart attack and die. Like heart attacks especially, there's like no warning signs. You can just drop dead if you eat unhealthy. So that's the thing. Like I know in my family, we have huge rates of cancer where people die from cancer. It's just like a thing in my family where all my relatives died growing up from cancer. So I know for me, like I have a propensity for cancer, so I should probably like do everything in my power to not die young by eating vegan, by eating plant-based. And when I say vegan, people can do vegan junk food. I'm talking about like watch my video I just uploaded my grocery haul. I talk about this, but I eat high fiber foods like fruits, vegetables, beans, oats, 100% whole wheat bread, brown rice, like things like that. So if you eat like healthy like whole foods then you're going to decrease your chances of all these diseases so i hope that helps because anecdotal evidence is horrible you shouldn't rely on that that vegan breakfast sandwich sounds so good i love chow cheese my grandma died of cancer. My grandma died of cancer. One of them died of cancer. One of them died of Alzheimer's. My other grandpa also died of cancer. And then my other, well, my dad's like parents who adopted him, that grandpa is still alive, but has like, I think kidney problems because he has to do like dialysis all the time. So he's like so old though. He's really made it through life, but it was really sad when my grandma died, my dad's mom, just because they were like married their entire life. My mom's parents had gotten divorced. So it's like, and they got married when they were like 19 or something. So imagine being married to someone for like 60 years and then not having them anymore. It's crazy. So I really love that a lot that they stayed married. It was beautiful. Even if they fought sometimes. <laughs> okay. Can you help me with something? I watched your depression video and I crave food every day. I can never sleep and I'm tired all day. I wake up late because I want to finish my dreams. Oh my gosh, me too. I've never felt so understood. I want to finish my dreams as well. <laughs> okay, so you need to go on medication. And I made a video how to get out of depression. So go like look on my YouTube channel, Lizzie's Answers, how to get out of depression. I share all my advice on things you can do to help depression, but ultimately, if you have a chemical imbalance, you just need to go on medication, so make a psychiatrist appointment. They're doing, um, like, Skype or Zoom psychiatrist appointments now, so, or, like, on the phone, since we're all staying inside, but, um, yeah, so you should try that. Mmm! So good. The banana is amazing. Mm. Let me make sure the oven is off. I'll be right back. ovens and stoves on because of my bipolar i have like horrific memory it's pretty scary so
Do you ever eat steel cut oats? I have before, but I'm confused how to cook them. Like I'm better at cooking regular oats. So I don't know what the difference is. I don't think there's a nutritional difference. So. Birth control pills have been linked to environmental damage. Yes. So if you take oral birth control, no, any hormonal birth control, even an IUD, it's in your bloodstream. And then when you pee it out and it goes into our marine life in the oceans and it like demasculates animals. So it makes like trans animals. So like a male animal will start developing ovaries and like a female animal will start developing like male parts in it. Like really weird stuff happening from birth control in the water. And it's like insanely expensive to clean the water of that. So another reason to not use birth control. I have a lot of symptoms of depression, but I'm still undiagnosed. I feel like I'm overthinking it though. Um, I mean, do people in your life say you're making it up? I don't know. Google account says, if I marry, I will probably not care about my family eating meat. I most likely still won't, although I was discerning becoming a BR. So I think, oh, a brother. So I think communal life would require me to eat meat. Not sure. I couldn't finish the vegan food video because it was too tempting. <laughs> my grocery haul or was it a, um what I eat in a day. My last what I eat in a day was like bomb. I made this amazing pizza. Mm. It's so creamy. I love the banana. I used to sleep in more too because I wanted to finish my dreams. Oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. Um, but I have not been like that for years. I'm not like that anymore either. Mm. How could I get motivated to actually do stuff? Make a list like the night before of things you're going to do during the day. I used to do this all the time when I was younger. I would make lists and I'd be like nine to 10 clean. 10 to 11, read this book. 11 to 12, so. 12 to 1, play guitar. Um, 1 to 2, listen to music and dance. So make a list the night before of like things to do. And yeah, I hope that helps. I mean, I always work from home. So I'm used to working at home. But is it weird like being in a different environment? Is that what makes it difficult? Or do you guys like working at coffee shops and stuff? I don't know. Oh my goodness, I just turned my Wi-Fi back on and I see you're live streaming. God bless you, Lizzie. Have a good night. Your video, it's so cool. What are the topics I just got here? Um, we're talking about like veganism, depression, Good Friday. The grocery haul you were watching. <laughs> How can I get motivated? Oh, we already read that. Um, that artificially morphing animal sounds crazy. Birth control is actually not significantly impacting ocean water. Um, I made a video talking about birth control. So Anna and I had studies linked in the video description talking about it. So I recommend watching that video and looking in the video description for my research. When is your birthday? July 22nd. I don't feel like sharing my feelings because I have no one to talk to. That's so sad. Write in the journal then. That'll make you happy. Do you have, do you have to marry your BF? <laughs> That's not a question. The grammar is so horrible. Okay, I'm reading up to see comments that I missed. Raising kids, especially weaned babies with no animal fat is risking several neurological problems. So, um, certified nutritionists say it's fine to feed your kids vegan. Obviously, you have to supplement for certain things. I mean, you have to supplement if you're also um, non-vegan. 
So yeah, I don't want to get into it just because I have done extraordinary amounts of research. Also, some of my closest friends in college are nutrition majors and actually are like certified nutritionists working now. So I have friends who I've talked to about this. I've done a lot of research, run, read like medical studies. So yeah, I just like, if you want me to make a video talking about like raising kids vegan, I feel like I'm not the person. I really recommend watching Unnatural Vegan. She makes a lot of videos that are very like scientific and researched. I just noticed that when I make vegan videos, they get barely any views because people don't want to see me making vegan content. I mean, maybe some people do, but like most people don't. So I'm not gonna like make vegan apologist videos on my channel. I have like one, I have, well, I have like 15 vegan videos or something, but I have one that I made a couple summers ago, like why be Christian and vegan where I talked about everything for why I'm vegan. But that was like the one apologist video. I just, yeah, I don't make vegan content. So anyways, go watch the documentary Forks Over Knives. I highly recommend it. Or read this book called The China Study. It's really, really good. Okay, we're gonna go up. Oh my gosh, there are so many comments. I'm like scrolling through them. Okay. Jesus is completely historically documented by Greek and Roman historians. That is correct. I can't eat nuts too much. My gut might flare up. Interesting. Oh dear, girly talk. So nice to see you, Lizzie. Oh, and I was talking about my nails. What do you mean months? I think it's ending in May. I don't think it is ending in May. Some cities, it like... Okay, I will say that... Um, this is my Bible, by the way. I will say that nationally the numbers are going down, but I mean, I don't think it's going to get better. I think it's going to keep... Yeah, I don't know. I'm reading through your comments. The Holy Spirit is mother-like, correct. Lizzie, nobody is saying the Eucharist is only spiritual. Spiritual communion is the next best thing, especially in cases you can't receive. Padre Pio is known for making spiritual communions often. Interesting. I don't know. Check out the life of St. Philip Nuri. I just saw it on Amazon Prime. They're talking about the Passion of the Christ. The other day we had mass and it turned into human flesh. <laughs> You should def watch it and cry. It's amazing. Oh, St. Augustine, St. Maximilian Colby. I love Catholic horror movies more than general Christian films. I think that's also weird. Yeah, it definitely is. It's painful to watch, but it really speaks to you. I've already watched Cowspiracy. Then people debating with me. Vince is here. Then people debating me. John Fisher! John Fisher's a longtime subscriber before I was Catholic. He helped me out. Oh, that's interesting. So for everyone who isn't reading the live chat, so Google account said you have to receive Eucharist during Easter and John said, this precept must be fulfilled during the Easter season unless it is fulfilled for a just cause at another time during the year. I would presume this counts as a just cause because it's physically impossible. What is your favorite movie of all time? Um, I don't know why my heart beats so fast because it's fine. Like my camera has, like, my phone has a really nice case on it. Well, not a really nice case. It was like $12, but I read all the Amazon reviews. There were like hundreds and they're like, you can like throw it down in concrete and it's fine. So, um, what is your favorite milk? The Trader Joe's oat milk is so good. And also chocolate pea milk is really good. Um, that's so random, but, um, Inception is the best movie ever. Today is my four week anniversary. I'm not leaving my house. <laughs> Oh my gosh. How much would um, 
Oat milk is amazing. It's getting so expensive and it's ridiculous because oats are so much cheaper than almonds. So why is oat milk so expensive? It's ridiculous. I love being vegan during Lent. I will continue with it after Easter. Oh, that's so cool. Cow milk that's non hum something. I keep meaning to try oat milk and I keep seeing it around. Get the Trader Joe's kind. It's amazing. I can't wait to go to reconciliation and receive the Holy Eucharist. Any priest during confessions by FaceTime? Um, confession is happening like in most dioceses as far as I can have heard about and stuff. So is confession happening where you guys live? I'm surprised if like I've I'm like on Twitter. I follow a lot of Catholics and everyone's saying, yeah. You are not supposed to put things on top of the Bible. I think I always film on top of my Bible. It's always there. And my favorite theology books is what I use. Because my tripod broke a while ago. Okay, it didn't break what happened. So there's something called a shoe. So the shoe is the top of the tripod, tripod that screws onto your camera. So I lost the shoe. And the reason is because... So the, you tie the shoe onto the camera and then you can remove the camera with the shoe and the shoe like clicks back in. So I unclick the camera and I travel like all the time. So I think I brought the shoe from my tripod to Florida and then I took it off when I used my Florida tripod or yeah, or I was visiting one of my other friends, who knows. So I lost my shoes, so I just gave up and I'm like, I'm not gonna get a new tripod because it's just annoying buying a tripod, they're overpriced. So I just use like a stool with boxes and my um, books and it works totally fine. So I'm probably eventually gonna get a tripod just because I can go outside and do like photography and stuff for Instagram. But I mean, yeah, I'm like running out of Instagram photos because I use like old photos for my Instagram. Right now I'm going for like a spring beach aesthetic. So I need to go to the beach soon and do more photos. Maybe now is a good time, but I don't want to go to the beach because there's other people there. We have drive through confessions. Yeah, so I have the virus and I've never felt so sick, especially at night. I'm praying a lot and listening to a lot of scripture. I'm so sorry, David. That seems awful. I've heard so many um, like accounts of it, like so many threads on Twitter of people describing it, how it's like such a high fever. And I read too, like coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing and like gasping for air. And then the um, lung part, it feels like you're drowning. So yeah, that's horrible. I need to taste chocolate almond milk. Has anyone warmed it up like hot chocolate? Oh, that's a brilliant, except it's like warm here. So that's why I haven't thought of that. But if I ever visit somewhere cold, which will probably be in a year, um, is it cold in up north? Is it still cold? Anyone who lives up north? <laughs> I don't understand seasons. I haven't lived in seasons since I was 12. So I don't understand how it works. <laughs> Our archdiocese canceled drive through confessions after advice from the Holy See due to privacy concerns. Interesting. I feel a sudden urge to get rid of my Facebook and social media, a form of cutting off to avoid sin. If you're like addicted to Instagram porn, I understand like deleting an Instagram, but why all social media? Are you like bullying people on social media? But okay, seriously guys, I am so glad I'm not a guy because on Instagram, there's so much porn. And a lot of times, so I follow a lot of accounts that post bikini photos because like, I don't care if I see it. It doesn't like stimulate me sexually or anything, you know? I'm just like, oh, she's really hot. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, I would love to be at the beach right now. Oh, I love her outfit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going through Instagram, like looking at like beautiful people. That's great. But for a lot of guys, it will recommend them pictures and women are like in thong bikinis and like barely clothed. And I wear bikinis, but it's like, next level bikinis you know what I mean like you might as well be naked with the way people dress and 
I don't understand it. Like, a lot of accounts I follow, and yeah, like, I do judge people, which I feel bad because I don't like judging people, but it's just weird how scantily clad people dress. Because you can dress in a bikini and, like, cover up your butt and your private areas like so easily there's so many different types of bikinis that cover up your body so yeah and even like i like where i live it's so hot most of the time and so i understand not wanting to wear a ton of clothes but it's like next level and i just don't understand why that happened so anyways i'm glad that i can follow accounts like fitness accounts and stuff and not be like oh this is porn and then be tempted in a sin area so it's everywhere and it's so easy so i can confirm that there's porn on instagram it's still cold up north i had to delete tiktok it's toxic should i download tiktok should i make a tiktok i have been tempted to download it just because a lot of my favorite creators and influencers have tiktok and have been posting content but i feel like i'm too old for it you know We had a very mild winter here this year. Yeah, I'll be in line for confession the day it starts again. I'm reading your comments. Um, Google account says confession here every morning except Sunday and other scheduled times. The SSPX will offer confession regardless. Pope Francis gave them facilities to hear confession a few years ago. It's on a list. Oh, super chat. Thank you for the donation, David. Thank you, Lizzie, for being so uplifting all the time. Oh, you know what are my favorite super chats? When people do an emoji super chat, look at the super chat button and there's a way to do emojis, like dancing emojis. It's so cute. So if you guys ever donate to my channel, I mean, I think most people want me to read their comment when they do a super chat, but if you do want to do a super chat and like a super emoji, they're so cute. Hi Lizzie, my twin just bought a tripod for her and my camera. Almond milk is really good. No confession in my area, just trusting in God's mercy and grace right now because I suck. Same. You are not supposed to put things Oh, we already read that. Um, I can't wait to go to reconciliation and receive the Holy Eucharist. Any priest doing confession. Oh, we already read that. Okay, I'll go down to the bottom then. Doo -doo. Oh my gosh! Jeremiah. So nice. That's so cute. Oh, it's a little cat! <laughs> That's adorable. Amy! Oh, it's like a dancing apple bird. <laughs> Why are there so many crosses on the wall? It looks like a scene from the sorcery. I'm Roman Catholic. Let me practice my faith. Freedom of religion. Nice, Jeremiah and Amy. Um... Jeremiah was a bullfrog, was a good friend of mine. I never understood a single word he said, but I helped him drink. What? David sent me a little halo emoji. That's really cute. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. So how long have we been on here? 48 minutes. I think I'm going to go just because I didn't want this to be a super long live stream. Pray for the niece of comedian Nick DiPaolo. She's a nurse who tested positive for the virus. Her name is Brooke Bevan. Oh my goodness, she doesn't know the song. That's from a song called Joy to the World. What? Interesting. The emoji super chats are so cute. I'm broke right now, so God bless. 
No, I came recently. See you later. Love your videos. Have a good weekend. I'm bummed I can't be with friends. We are Skyping though. That's so good. Will you be watching something? I don't know what that is. So probably not. Please pray for me and Rosary. My name is Alan. What would you like me to pray for? When can we officially indulge in what we gave it for Lent? After Easter vigil is done or wait until actual Easter? I think Easter. I'm listening to music. I'm so excited. Do I have to wait until Sunday or Monday? Because albums and songs have come out. I'm going to like start going running to my new music. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's going to like up my workouts so much. Okay. Stay one minute more. Oh, when will be your next live? Um, I don't know. Not Monday. I have something on Monday. I will live on my Instagram. How about that? I'll live stream on my Instagram tomorrow. I don't know when my next live stream. Tuesday? Tuesday. I need to figure out a video to make. Do you guys have any video requests to make? Because I don't know what my next video is going to be. Happy Good Friday. Happy Good Friday, you guys. Rest in central to Holy Saturday. God slept and woke the sleepers in the netherworld. Have a good... Oh, that's so cute. I don't have Instagram. Download an Instagram and follow me. Lizzie Rize. What are good Catholic movies? I hate movies. I'm not a movie person. Um, your Latin sacrifice is entirely at your own volition, so you can decide when to end it. But I think most people would um, say it's most meaningful to wait until Easter Sunday morning. I'm going to actually do Monday because Sunday is like a holiday. Like, you know what I mean? It's like... I guess I can't even spend it with people, so never mind. Anyways, what did you learn about Lent? I think not receiving the Eucharist all the time and having like a desert period in our faith, it kind of taught me that I'm not owed it and I don't deserve it because I kind of have an attitude at first where I was like really upset and like complaining internally all the time about the situation so I learned that I complain a lot and I need to be more grateful and more grateful for the sac sacraments because I don't deserve them and I'm not owed them it's always a gift and it's something that so easily was taken away so could you send me a toilet paper package here stores are empty check Amazon I finally got toilet paper from Amazon my spiritual director asked me to pray for a person for two weeks and you kept coming to my mind. So I'm doing that. Ah, pray for my parents to become Catholic and pray for me to stop complaining. I complain all the time. I want to stop complaining and be more grateful for life. Um, my addiction is what I need prayed for. Okay. Here. Wait, what's your name again? I lost it. I'm looking for the name so I can put in my journal. Oh, wait, he said it twice. Oh, here we go. Alan. Wait. Got it. You'll go in my prayer journal. Shopping for a rosary. I already have so many rosaries. I've been given them as gifts by a lot of people. Lizzie, I'll watch the Forks Over Knives documentary you recommend. I suggest you watch Expel, No Intelligence Allowed. It's available on YouTube. It's about the censorship of creation being taught. Okay. Screenshot. So I look at that later. They cannot evict us during this. Yeah, I think that's really important. Do you want to become a nun? No, I want to get married. What about hand sanitizer? I have not been able to find hand sanitizer. I just like gave up that I'm going to find it. Um, anyways, historical evidence of the resurrection. Okay, guys, I'll buy that book then. I'll buy the book on the resurrection of the dead by N.T. Wright, and then I'll read the book, and then I'll make the video, but that might be in a couple weeks. So video on theosis. What are you doing? I'm about to leave the live stream. So it's been almost an hour. And then I don't know why I'm whispering. And then I'm gonna um, make more cookies. Okay. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Go watch my video I just made on my grocery haul. And then I also, my other recent videos are on the Pope, 
on salvation of non-Catholics and what was the other video I made? What was my last video? My Pope video and then purgatory. Yeah. So my Pope video, purgatory and salvation of Protestants. So go watch those videos. I put so much love and passion into them. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I've noticed, so I've been doing Zoom sessions with my students and I'm like, bye, <laughs> like the same way I do on my YouTube channel at the end. So yeah, happy Easter. If I don't see you guys before then, I'm gonna live stream on my Instagram tomorrow. I love you guys so much. Thank you for making my Good Friday even better because I did so many spiritual activities and I love that I got to end it spending time with you guys. I'm gonna go watch another mass and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.